Alright you wonderful weirdos, it's Halloween time and I got a great idea and I want to bring you along for it. Here's what I'm going to do. This is insulation foam. This is some leftover insulation foam I had. So we're going to use this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the light sensor kit to it because I just need the sensor to it really. And do you all remember that beautiful hologram display that I made? We're going to add that to it as well along with a couple other lights to do this. Hologram projector, sensors, have a power cable right into it, and probably two other out by the hand. We we'll use some cloth, and we'll make it look like something for the video display. We'll probably use the mug of this guy. Based. Fair enough. All right, let's jump into this. I have no idea what I'm doing on this, by the way. I'm making this up as I go, and I want to bring you along. So grab a cup of coffee and let's go. Weirdos, here's where we're at. This is our basic form. We get in a bronze coat, very dark head. The reason for that is when it's out at nighttime, the hologram projector won't have a background to it, so it will look like a floating head. So hologram projector will go there. Our sensor, motion sensor, will go here. And then each one of these hands will be holding a, a light bulb that looks like a flame. And then we'll probably end up putting something in the middle of it too. I haven't decided yet. So this is kind of my, my rough form, right? So now we need to wire everything, right? And then see if we're going to add the other piece, wire that in, and then we got to figure out timing. And then I got to spend a few hours on a computer to figure out the holographic image face that we talked about. So we're going with evil robot. This is what it turned into. Let's just keep going. Let's let's wire up some stuff. Here we go.
All right, so now we need to give our robot ghost thingy a face. What better one than mine? So here goes some mugging, and then we'll edit it and clip it out. I'm gonna show you how. All right, weirdo, so that was pretty cool. Um, so what we did is we took that format, we made a bunch of other ghost head type of things with my face, and we programmed them into our fan, and I added a Bluetooth chip to it as well, just so I could hook it up to my uh, iPad if I need to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount this, and we're gonna add some other aesthetics to it, because right now, it's kind of plain looking, so I kind of want to beef it up a little bit, make it look more like a robot type body. So we're going to do that now and then uh, big reveal. So let's go.
All right, you bunch of weirdos. That's it. It's motion activated. Got little flamey lights, spinning, facey thing. They even give you the old Evil Air logo. It's actually kind of cool. It came out pretty good, actually. I'm kind of surprised by it. Super happy with it. We're going to be sure to stick this out in the yard. But definitely let me know what you thought about this Evil Air project and what else, of course, we should make. There's one on here that I'm actually very, very proud of. This one. I don't know how it's coming out in camera, but the new editing software I've been playing with. So yeah, all in all, I'm kind of happy with this. Oh, this is a good one too. <laughs> oh, just in time. All right, guys, I'll check you all out next month, next Evil Air project. We're going to be making something for somebody, so definitely make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And let me know down in the comments what else we can make here in the evil layer to make things like this come to life. All right, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. I forgot to tell you, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a motion activated. I'm not ready for this, don't use this one. You know, things that you can make. And I really, really am enjoying this one. I think that's my food. Damn. Always, always when I'm trying to do an intro.